My name is Gary, I'm 29 years old, and I'm a safety director for OSHA. My name is Kaylin Godfrey. I am 24 years old, and I work at Microsoft as a project manager. So, uh, Kaylin, what do you do for a living? I work at Microsoft, I'm a project manager. I've been doing that since last November, so still kind of new at it, but I'm liking it. How about you? I like her outfit, I like the hair, I like the earrings, looks pretty fly. Okay. I'm actually a safety manager uh, for OSHA right now. I uh, just started about a month ago. Okay. It's a pretty interesting career. Cool. Yeah. How'd you get into that? Um, used to truck drive for about six years, so I kind of wanted to take the safety industry up to the next level, you know, to ensure that uh, people are safe at the workplace and get home to their loved ones. Okay, that's really mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Yeah. So where are you originally from? Um, so I was born in Dallas. Uh, my family is all from Louisiana, so we moved back there when I was little. Grew up there. Came back to Texas when I was 12, and I've been here ever since, so 12 years now. Um, I still claim Louisiana wholeheartedly. <laughs> what about you? Okay, I'm originally from uh, Kansas City, Kansas. Born and raised, you know, traveled a lot once my mom remarried to my stepfather. Okay. So kind of moved around as a military brat. But before I came to Dallas, I was in Hawaii for two and a half oh, years. Oh, cool. Yeah, loved cool. it there. Didn't yeah. want to leave, but came that time. Other so, plans, yeah. Yes, I've been here for about eight years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what brought you to Texas? Well, I pretty much like the environment here in Dallas-Fort Worth. was close to Houston at one point, but I figured, oh, let's explore Dallas and see how I like it there. Mm. So I've been here ever since. Okay, cool. So I have these questions for you. Of course, the light side are the easy questions and the opposite right. side are the harder questions for you. Okay. <laughs> so my first card that I have for you with the question is, do you work out and eat healthy? Why or why not? So... I am definitely on a fitness and health journey. Um, that for me has been a little bit of a process with battling perfectionism and wanting to be healthy for the wrong reasons. And so I'd say yes, but I'm definitely more so focused on finding balance. And so that looks like some weeks I'm working out every day and some weeks it's maybe two or three days and some weeks there's none. Um, and then eating healthy, kind of, we're on the way. <laughs> How about you? Um, yes, I'm on a fitness journey as well. I'm actually trying to gain weight okay. and I actually have a goal to where I want to be uh, physical wise. And, you know, mm -hmm. most importantly, especially as African-Americans, mm -hmm. it's absolutely essential to you know keep up with our health. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. OK, cool. Mm -hmm. OK, so my question is, would you be willing to put your mom in her place if your fiance felt she was being disrespectful to her? Explain how you would do it. Hmm, it's a good question. Um, I always have respect uh, for my mother and I would address the situation in a respectful manner. Not that I will put my mom in place, but I will let her know in some areas she may be wrong. And as well as, you know, my fiance, I would address to her some things that she that she may be wrong for and kind of, you know, have everyone apologize to rectify sure, the you situation. Keep the peace, EDA. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Let's Not a tick for tack type of thing. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cool. How about you? So he seems really nice. He seems like he's got a good head on his shoulders. Um, he has a couple of viewpoints that I feel like might have some more nuance. And he's got some very straightforward answers. So that's interesting to me. Is it more important for a man to be financially stable or emotionally in tune? Have you been to therapy yet? Why or why not? It makes you really look in yourself and answer questions that are really intrapersonal. And I think a lot of times we as guys don't do that, so. I can definitely see myself playing this game with somebody that I'm interested in, just to, you know, see what their head is like, what they think about certain topics and dating in general. Um, well, is this my mom or my dad? <laughs> Your mom. My mom, yeah, I mean, for me, it would definitely be assessing what the real issue is and kind of working out like, is the problem what we're arguing about or is there a deeper problem here? Um, and I'm kind of in the same boat where I, I don't feel the need to fully pick sides, but more so champion like a healthy conversation and working towards getting to a place where we can respect each other, and, you know, talk to each other in a proper way. Okay. Yeah, and disagreements are okay with me. Okay, sounds good then. What's your biggest challenge as an introvert or extrovert? What if I'm an ambivert? 
Okay, no, okay, so I'm an ambivert, but I lean more towards introversion. Um, I think my biggest challenge is responding to a lot of different people. She's giving some upfront answers right now. Transparency is always essential though, and she seems confident with the conversation. I tend to want my space and I'm pretty good at monitoring my space. And then a lot of times I end up not responding to calls or text messages and people get upset. And so I really have to stay on top of getting back to people and allowing some people to enter into, you know, mm -hmm. my bubble of introversion. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I can understand it. Um, my biggest problem is, cause you know, I have a kind of like a large friend base. Okay. So it's like, you know, like you said, you know, trying to get back to everyone in a, in a timely manner instead of, you know, just leaving everyone hanging, you know, uh, sure. so to speak. And, you know, at times I may want my space, you know, to be productive or clear my mind or anything like that, but it's not like I'm anti-social or you just blowing everybody off for those that want to hang out or, you know, to check in with me or anything. So yeah. it's, it's kind of have to balance everything in between, though. I definitely understand that. Okay. Okay, so my next question is, would you be okay with your wife getting surgical enhancements? Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because, you know, because God has made all of us in his image. And, you know, me personally, it has to do something with some sort of insecurity mm -hmm. issue. Because, you know, um, women, you know, they come up from different childhood or they've been picked up because they had a big nose or sure. whatever the case may be. So they must figure I've been insecure my whole life growing up because of this particular part of my body. So I guess they figured they need to uh, take some other measurements by getting some kind of physical mm -hmm. enhancement to feel good about themselves. But yet they put God on the back burner because you know what matters the most is what he thinks about you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finally do this intimacy challenge on one side of the car. It's a more relating to mental intimacy, intimacy of the mind, and on the other side of the car, it's more relating to uh, physical intimacy, okay. the body. You're a good friend to me because what is missing in our relationship? One thing that I really want for us is saying I'm putting my phone down. Make it clear, I'm putting my phone down because I want to focus on you. So he's got a pretty hardcore stance on plastic surgery, which I'm not an advocate for or against, but it does kind of shock me that he's so against without really considering some of the other perspectives. So we have these signs. One says grow and stay, and one says not today. Um, based off of this conversation, we're gonna pick a sign, and I'm gonna count to three and we'll hold it up. Sound good? Okay. One, two, three. I chose Grow and Stay um, because uh, she, she seems upfront and transparent about the answers that she gave me. And um, I really couldn't understand why she would pick uh, not today, but th that's always okay. I take rejection well. I thought Gary was sweet. He seemed like a cool guy. I definitely see more potential for having him as a friend and having some more honest conversation. Um, I have you know, four things that I really look for to see if someone can beat me um, spiritually intellectually, physically, and emotionally. And I just kind of was gauging, like, I don't know if this is gonna be right for me, but I do see him being a cool guy.